Do you remember 1995? The year when FIA allowed a 10 cylinder layout with a maximum displacement of 3 liters for the F1 Grand Prix? Well, I don't, because I was just born. And I am not such a F1 fan either, but I did, and that was an era of a ridiculously high revving machines and almost 1000 naturally aspirated horsepower. BMW didn't take part in this party until 2000, when they introduced the E4014, a 3 litre 72 degree V10 with 810 horsepower at 17500 rpm. The next year they came up with an updated engine, the P80-1 using a wider 90 degree V with lower center of gravity, more power and high red line. The power plant was improved over time, reaching a 940 horsepower output at 19,000 rpm. That was the P83. Why is this information important, you ask? Because this era inspired engineers to create this production engine. This is the BMW S85. It was a clean sheet design unit using aluminum engine block and a 90 degree V angle. Cylinders fired unevenly with a 90 degree and 54 degree firing intervals. It was rather a unique solution as every previous M engine was based on an existing power plant. As a typical naturally aspirated M engine, it featured individual throttle bodies, 10 electronically actuated in this case. Compared to its predecessor, the 4.9 liter S62, the S85 was a much faster engine with a rev limiter set 1250 rpm higher. The V10 weighs around 240 kilograms. Some of the special features is that it doesn't use cylinder liners and has a so-called quasi dry sump lubrication system. This incorporated two separate oil sumps, the front and back one. Due to very tight manufacturing tolerances, limiting oil flow, the engine suffers from a premature connecting rod bearing wear, which need to be changed after 50,000 miles. The same problem is shared with the S65 V8 engine from the M3 E90 series, which was derived from the V10. The S80 was a unicorn, making the M5 the world's first production V10 powered sedan and at the same time winning multiple World Engine of the Year awards. It could have been found in the M5 E60 and the touring model codenamed as the E61, as well as the M6 Coupe and convertible. Interestingly, the engine was shared in the Wiesmann GT MF5 too, and if the stock power wasn't enough for you, an American tuner D9 is able to squeeze 720 horsepower at 8300 rpm using new cams and board and stroke 5.8 liter engine displacement. The succeeding F10 M5 generation was initially intended to be produced with a S86 B55 engine which translates into a 5.5 liter V10 engine producing over 600 horsepower and 800 Nm of torque thanks to a supercharger. Sadly it did not happen and the S85 remains the first and only production V10 to be sold by BMW. <laughs> Hello.